Hey guys, Hugh here from Square Labs. Today I'm going to take you through uh, creating a custom related list inside Zoho CRM. So as you know, inside CRM we've got related lists and related lists show information that is relevant to the record that is linked by a lookup field. The other question is what if you don't have a lookup field but you have some sort of related information? Um, so this is where you can use a custom related list and it's a related list that is um, created by a function. So for example, and the one I'll show you today is in a deal, you can see all deals under a contact um, record because you are directly linked to a contact. However, if you want to see other deals for that contact on the deal record or other open deals for that contact for that matter, what you can do is create a related list that shows only other open deals that that contact has on the deal record itself. And that's the one I'll show you right now. So if we open that deal up, you can see here we've got a very important deal. Now on this one here, we've got a custom related list called other open deals. Now this one here just shows other open deals to them that belong to Thor here. So if I click on secret deal, you'll see this one opens up inside here. We're going to see all the other deals that are associated to Thor except the one that's currently here. So now it's not secret. We can see that the other one is very important deal. We can also click on Thor himself. And if we open up here, we can see all his deals, deals for. We don't see this one here, a small deal, because that's been closed. It's no longer relevant. This can be really good if you're using it for, um, you know, open quotes so that you're not um, double quoting them or not over quoting, under quoting, for example, if other people in the business have already quoted this customer. So it gives you a sort of that straight up view on that deal page there if you want to use that. And I'll talk you through a bit of the code on how that works. So if I open up the deal, for example, we can see here we've got the contact related deal. So I get the deal, get the contact, Check that there is a contact first. If there's not, I just say there's no contact associated to this deal. What we do then is we get all related deals to the contact. We just prepare a list of related open deals. That we, This is the one we're going to share back. And then for each deal, we first check that it doesn't have the ID of the record that's currently open and that the stage is not closed. And then we add that deal to the open related deals list. And this is the one we're going to send back to the customer, uh, send back to the related list. First thing we're going to do is check that the size is greater than zero. If not, we'll just say there's no other open deals. And then this is where we go through the, um, the rendering of the XML um, string, which is what's required to um, display the custom related list. We just got to create a couple of variables. So we've got the row value and then the response XML. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create this XML record and we're going to go through a loop of all open deals that are in that related deal. First of all, we create a row value of zero. We create, if it's a link or this one you want linked back to the record, you can create a link, a URL with the ID and then the value of what you want this um, row to be, which is the deal name. And then we're going to pass in that deal name. What we do next, we're going to pass through the stage. We've got the closing date. We've also got the amounts. And the final part is we close off that row. We then increment that row value by one and it's going to go through that loop again. We then finally close off the XML here and that's all there is to it. We've now got this related list getting created. So what I'll do is I'll take you through another one here, um, which is great uh, in the account. So I want to display contacts, but I don't want to display the ones that are inactive. And I'll show you how that works. If I open up the account, you can see here I've got bunch of contacts. I've got the company status, so they are primary staff members, past employees, or secondary employees, for example. But I don't need to see the past employees. They're not relevant to me anymore, but the contacts might be associated to deals or they'll have information of when they were employed and our communication with them. So I don't want to delete them. So what I'm going to do is going to create a custom related list and that filters out any of the past employees. And also I'm going to have it sort them for me in, in the order of primary, secondary, and then staff member. So how do I do that? First thing I need to do is create a function. So I go into functions, click new function. I'm just going to call this one active contacts and I'm going to select the category to be related list and then we click create 
first thing we need to do is create a argument and the argument here will be account ID and I've already got the code ready so I'm just going to insert that here and what I'm doing here is I just get the account all related contacts to that account I just prepare some required um, lists to help order my contacts so that is the primary secondary staff other also got that ordered contact list so think about that as the final list that I'm going to render out if the contact size is, is zero, first thing I'm going to do is say there are no contacts associated. Next thing we're going to do is if for each of those contacts in that contact list, I'm going to get rid of the ones that are past employees. I don't need them. And then I'm going to go through and sort them by their company status. So in this case, I go primary. I add that particular record here or can particular item to the list. And the reason I do it here inside the object and not like a custom co contact map variable is if you've got multiple ones in the primary, the variable will overwrite and you end up having duplicate lines. Um, so I've got my primary there, I've got my secondary staff member, and then anything else I'm just going to put through um, an other list. And for example, it might be a, a, a status I'm not um, updating in here, or I don't care about to be sorted at the top, or it's empty. Once I've created that, I need to order them. So my ordered list, first thing I do is add primary list, then I'm going to add secondary, staff, and then other, and that's the order they will appear. For the last thing I need to do, check again, if that, make sure that the ordered contacts all are uh, greater than zero. And then exactly like the same that I went through in the deals function here, I'm going to create a row value, create my XML here and go through my ordered contacts, row value, update my URL here to go to the contact using the contacts ID. I use the full name here and I go through the email mobile and their status, close off the row, increment by one, and then that will loop through. I finally close it off. And that's it. Once that's done, I click save. And now I need to associate that to the account. So when you get onto the uh, account, you look at the contacts, for example, you lose a couple of things when you add a custom related list. So you're going to lose this new button. You're going to lose the ability to just add fields in here. You're going to have to do that in the code if you want to add new fields. Um, you also lose the hierarchy view and the ability to add plus button on the side inside there. So if you do like these features, you might want to keep the related list as it is. However, for me, I'm happy to forego these features to have the right contacts in the right order. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go here to the add related list. I click functions. You'll see that I've got an active contacts one ready to go, which is the one that we just saved. Click add now. In here, we need to add an ID. So first thing we're gonna do is just create an account, an account ID, that's what we're passing, and what my related list is gonna be called. So I'm just gonna go active contacts, click save. Now I've got my active contacts in there, and I'm gonna first bring it up to the top and click save. So in here, you can see I've got my contacts unsorted with my primary, secondary, past. And then if I got my active contacts, it filters out all of the um, past employees. And then if you really don't need your other contacts, you can remove it. And now you've got your active contacts here. And it's the only one that will display. That's it for today, guys. I hope that helps you out in understanding what you can do with a custom related list. There are obviously a bunch of ways you can use it across the system. Um, feel free to um, make any comments in the comments if you have any questions and I will link the code in the comments below for both of those examples so you can expand on them or use them as a base. Hope you have a great day.